how could you not embrace this American tradition? It's fabulous. I was so shocked that they didn't do them like that here. Don't get us started on American chocolate. Yeah, we all get in a circle, cross hands and sing Auld Lang Syne. Basically get drunk and celebrate. This video is about American traditions that we've wholeheartedly adopted and embraced <laughs> and those British ones we've had to let slide and let go a little bit. This video has been suggested by our lovely friend Jessie from the YouTube channel Fifth and Overland. This is actually the second part in a series. We've done another one which is about British customs that we've let slide and American customs that we've adopted. So check out that video after this one. But what is a tradition? A tradition, Lucy. <laughs> Sorry. I want to flick you. <laughs> a tradition is something that's been handed down from one generation to another. For example, fireworks has long been an American tradition on the 4th of July. Let's talk about the various American holidays and traditions and festivities, etc. And the British ones. And the British ones. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the British and American holidays and festivities. Okay Lucy, let's start with Mother's Day. I thought you were going to say that. Well, very fortunate for me that Mother's Day is a different day in the UK to what it is in the USA. Mothering Sunday in the UK always takes place in March on the fourth Sunday of Lent. This is exactly three weeks before Easter Sunday. In the US, it's celebrated on the second Sunday in May. If you're curious as to why this is, we've actually made a video about it. It was one of the first videos we've ever made, so check that out. We apologise in advance for the terrible crafts that we did during this video. <laughs> and this is why we've never done any craft work since, Indeed. I don't think. Yes. Indeed. Yes. By the way, Father's Day is on the same day in both countries on the third Sunday of June. In the UK, Shrove Tuesday is known as Pancake Day. I'm actually very surprised America hasn't embraced Pancake Day. I know, they love their pancakes, mm -hmm. why don't they? I don't know, come on America. And, fun fact, they're actually quite different from American pancakes. Mm. Perhaps we should make a video about that in the future. Yeah, let's not say any more. <laughs> it's getting kind of weird now. I know, it's very weird. <laughs> The next one is Good Friday. Now we always have hot cross buns on Good Friday and probably several weeks before as well. Yes. And we were so surprised that that's not a normal thing here in the USA. But having said that, this year the bakery down the road actually made hot cross buns and they were delicious. We've done a hot cross bun video. <laughs> would you believe? <laughs> it was kind of a cheats version. It was like um, hot cross bun flavoured scones. Mm, which is a great combination. So check that out if you're interested in how to make those. The next one is Easter Sunday. Chocolate Easter eggs are on a whole other level in the UK and they are elaborate and gorgeous and beautiful and interesting and very creative. As you can tell, I'm a big fan. Yeah. I miss them greatly. I was so shocked they didn't do them like that here. I think they do do them, but just not on the same oh, level. Oh no, I mean, when you go into a, a supermarket or any a news agents, a store, anything, there'll be rows and rows of ceiling height displays of, of wonderful boxed uh, chocolate Easter eggs. Yeah. Yeah, but chocolate. Not the same over here. Oh no. <laughs> that was your cue. <laughs> I didn't know what you could say. But chocolate, hey? Mm, don't get us started on American chocolate. Independence Day, 4th of July. We celebrate that every year in the USA, but strangely enough, we've never celebrated it in the UK. I wonder why that is. I don't know. We have also done a video or two, <laughs> or three or four, <laughs> about 4th of July. Check those out. Set a day aside. <laughs> Halloween, something that actually originated in the UK but Americans have taken to a whole new level and those traditions are now creeping into the UK. But I feel like I embrace it more in America because everyone does. Well, that's very sad. The last couple of years I've got loads of candies in for the trick-or-treaters and no one's come. Oh, just have to eat them all yourself. I know, it wasn't <laughs> that hard. <laughs> in the UK, the 5th of November, 
or bonfire night as it's also called. This isn't celebrated in America, funnily enough. Guy Fawkes, a member of the gunpowder plot, was arrested for trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament on the 5th of November 1605. To celebrate the failure of the plot, we burn an effigy of the guy on a bonfire and set off fireworks. We're probably going to do a video on this at some point, so we'll save a lot of the information for that, but it's a great tradition and we miss it very much. Thanksgiving, celebrated in America of course, and something that we have embraced wholeheartedly. I mean, how can you not? It's a feast. I know, it's the fourth Thursday of November, isn't it normally? It is. Mm. I remember um, when I first met Roger that we celebrated Thanksgiving when he was in London at a restaurant called Christopher's, an American restaurant. Mm. And that was uh, the first time I really knew anything about Thanksgiving. Yeah, I didn't really celebrate it until I was still in Britain and I was at university and we had a couple of American students who brought the tradition over. So it's actually been something that's been with us before we moved to America, interestingly. Black Friday is a traditional uh, American uh, sales shopping day, which is now also observed in the UK. Mm. So it's the day when you shouldn't really go out to the shops. Yeah. But do all your shopping online and get your Christmas presents at a bargain rate. How could you not embrace this American tradition? It's fabulous. Then of course there's Christmas, something that is very similar on both sides of the pond. And we've actually brought some of our British traditions with us such as the Christmas cracker and the Christmas pudding and setting it on fire and those things that it just wouldn't be Christmas without. Absolutely. And we've actually tried American eggnog for the first time this last Christmas. Mm. And um, we have actually brought over our mulled wine and mulled cider. We have to say we prefer the mulled wine and cider. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we've done really well at blending British Christmas and American Christmas and creating this wonderful hybrid. Boxing Day. Why is there no Boxing Day in America? We're trying to work that one into our new <laughs> customs and traditions, mm. but we haven't yet really succeeded. No, I mean, us Brits have it as a public holiday and Americans are so keen to finish Christmas and get straight back to work, whereas we like to prolong the festivities. Yeah, Christmas doesn't really finish till around January the 5th, I wouldn't, no, say. I wouldn't think so, no. <laughs> but if you want to know more about what Boxing Day is, check out our Boxing Day video. And then finally, there's New Year's Eve, which is celebrated in a very similar way on both sides of the pond. I would say the only difference that we've kind of lost is we don't sing Old Lang Syne out here. Mm. Yeah, we all get in a circle, cross hands and sing Old Lang Syne. Yeah. Let's do it together. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Other than that, it's really very similar. I can't think of any other American traditions that they do which we don't. No. Basically, get drunk and celebrate. Yeah. Let us know your favourite tradition from your country and if you've moved abroad, let us know which traditions you've adopted since moving. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.